about certain tracks that you really can't fathom what they're all about. Sonoma is a real driver's track. Really confident coming into Sonoma here. A good, tight, technical track, especially the first half of the track. With the way that our cars save tires, it's a perfectly suited track. Nothing is like actually experiencing the track. We learned so many things in three days of testing here, and then the testing in the two days of, of the race schedule really brought us up to speed of what we could do against our competition. With BOP, always fluctuating. We were hoping we would be able to maintain that BOP that we did test with, and up to this point we have. I figured I'd just go up there and do a couple laps. Took my opening lap just to get some heat in the tires. It was a good lap for me. I was pushing hard. We were able to grab a P4 with just really the one hot lap and uh, came in parked for the rest of the qualifying session. We have to race on our qualifying tires, so the key is to get it done quick, save the tires, put a time down that's actually going to stick. You know, Martin got it done in three laps, I believe, and I got it done in five. To be right in a row in qualifying, it's spectacular. So uh, today it all worked out and uh, was able to get on it, get it done fast. So start B5, do a little lefts, a few rights, be good. The engineering of the car has just been spectacular. As long as we keep our nose clean, I really think we're gonna have something for our competition here. The start went as planned, actually. Martin and I tried to work together a little bit. Going into corner one, he was in front of me, and we just kind of settled into first through fifth. Five or six of us broke away fairly quickly and just had some nice clean racing. I ended up behind Hugh Plum. I knew I had some pace on him after the first few laps, so I was able to get a little run on him going out of six and up into seven. Team radioed in that I had the fastest lap, which ultimately would give me a pull for race two. I sort of just picked my spot where I thought I might have something for Brett. Sort of used the Mustang and, and find my way around for P2. The balance of power was pretty even. Everybody was running on the limit. As Brett slowed up, I, I made contact with him and it, it kind of split the fender on the car and we had some carbon fiber rubbing on the tire. I had smoke pouring out the back of the car and, and knew that I needed a pit in a matter of 20 seconds. I was back out on the track on the lead lap. I ended up getting stuck behind lap traffic. Sandberg found his way around me there and put me back into P3. Saw a Parker Chase coming. He made a great move coming through two and three. Was able to watch him for a few laps, figured out where I could get him. I figured turn nine in the break zone would be a good run for me. Came in hot, made the pass on him, and unfortunately, I ended up tagging Brett Sandberg. I got a drive through penalty for that. I was told that I could either serve it or come in later. I chose to stay out. My goal was to hunt Ziegler down and not finish dead last. And uh, once I achieved that, my focus really turned to Martin. It was just a race of ups and downs, highs and lows. Uh, ended up bringing the car in a P4. And hopefully, uh, after some reviews and some sit down with some of the stewards, see how they see it and see if maybe we can uh, find, uh, find our podium back here. We ended up in with the stewards for quite some time. And in turn, uh, I was not recognized for yesterday's race, which takes my pole position away for today's race. Uh, and I'll be starting at the back of the pack. Yesterday was his race to win. He'll come back from the back of the pack today, and he'll be right up there. I came out under full throttle on the limiter and just slowly let the clutch out. I kept pace with everybody up front. 
going up the hill, we went three wide. The car on the outside, the Maserati, he was ready to go, but maybe a little bit too much and spun in front of me. I knew the first few would be easy to knock off, and I knew as we started going up through the group, they'd be getting a little more difficult as we go, and, and truly, that's really what played out. Anytime you've got lost in Aschenbach on your tail, it's precarious. We were battling tooth and nail. Eventually he got by me, and I just bided my time until the opportunity presented itself, and it did. Unfortunately, I had to move him out of the way. And I was right on the tail of Nate Stacy. I know that he saw me. He kind of disregarded that I was going to even attempt to go onto the outside of nine, and I did. And I surprised him. On the very last lap, we took the white flag. I got a little bit loose. I knew it was the closest I had been to his tail. I was able to sort of tuck in behind him and just pop at the last second and get a, get a pass on him. I think that I'm an equal now. There's nothing that they have that I don't have. I've got the best team in the paddock, there's no doubt about it. And to put the car on the podium is for them. Unbelievable. That's my boy. Really happy again, I got the fastest race pace. It just sort of gives me a confidence going into Laguna. I love Laguna Seca. I love it. I know that Martin is fast at Laguna, and I know, I know the track well. We know it gets sandy. I can't wait.